Do you lose minus 48 RP every single game because you hot drop? Do you get third partied every single time? Do Rev Octane teams just make you so angry you want to chunk your controller out the window? Are you tired of being just hard stuck and never getting a girlfriend? Well then you're at the right spot! Cause right now we're gonna talk about all the reasons why you can't gain that sweet sweet RP and rank up in Apex Legends. So stay tuned, be happy, and remember to watch this video. Reason number one you are struggling to rank up in ranked Apex or gain RP is that you consistently drop the hotspot every single game or you drop a contested every single game or you drop on known uh, like amazing loot POIs or POIs that you always know people are always going to. Let's say, I don't know, uh, Countdown or East Fragment, you know, Sorting Factor even. Places that you always know people are trying to go to because it has well-known loot, you know, but the loot's pretty good there. Why is this bad? Because you're dying off drop a lot. This may not hurt you if you're doing it in gold or silver, um, maybe even platinum. It doesn't hurt as much, but once you get the diamond, um, and even platinum, I would say, like you can just not be dying off of drop. Getting the max loss of 48, 36, let's say even 28, if you're you know a lower level player, you, you don't wanna be losing that, that's a lot. Usually that could be one full 20 minute game of worth of RP and you're losing it like that. And you guys know how much getting a 50 point game in diamond or platinum means to someone. Though that's a lot of work sometimes to get those kills, a lot of stress, a lot of rotation, a lot of ring knowledge and to throw it away in two seconds is I think something ridiculous to me and it is a mistake that I see a lot of hard stuck players commit and I think it's so easily fixable you know if you have trouble knowing where to drop look look behind you when the ship's going look at the number of people in the ship or did a lot of people drop early that means that late spots are probably gonna be open you know are there a lot of people in the ship still waiting then try and drop earlier because a lot of the stuff in the at the beginning of where the ship was going over are probably clear. Are you contested? Do you have communication? Are you playing with a well-known team? Are you playing as a solo? Those are also questions that you have to answer for yourself. But for the most part, I tell you, if you're dying off of drop a lot, like stop landing contested. Cause it either means that your skill level for fighting with whatever guns, armors, stuff you get is, you know, maybe not there, or you're just getting screwed by RNG. And in Apex, a game with a lot of random stuff, you want to be able to control as much as you can control. And one thing you can control is where you drop. So if you're the jump master, try and do everything you can to make your team land on the ground, loot calmly, and be able to put yourself in a spot to where you're actually going to fight, you know, where you can actually take a 3v3. You don't ever want to die for free. I'm going to show you guys a clip where I literally died for free and it was just like minus 48 in diamond and it sucks because it hurts a lot to get minus 48. Let's talk about this clip really fast. So in the clip that I was talking about, we land and we contest countdown. Countdown is heavily contested this season because some of the loot situation on World's Edge wasn't that great. So a lot of people love going countdown because you can get a very easily a blue or a purple, you know? So a lot of people contest it, you land in the center of it, and you get good loot. The problem is, hey, maybe you get the good loot, the good armors, but if the other team that contests lands on both sides of you, uh, gets all the guns, then it doesn't matter if you have the good loot. If you don't get good guns, like there's nothing you can do, you have to run away. And if your team isn't well coordinated, what's gonna happen is kind of what happens in this clip. You know, you drop, maybe one of you gets a good gun, You got, we got really good armors here. The problem that you see is like we just don't get any good loot while our team is also very uncoordinated and everywhere and our teammates commit the mortal sin of being so hyper focused uh, put bl and they put blinders on which is a topic I will talk about later in this video and they just don't understand that we need to just leave and get more loot and this is what happens when you contest you sometimes you will just lose your fight even if you get the but let's say better armors in this situation but there's a lot of times where you take these contested fights and all it does is lose you minus 48 and losing minus 48 is a lot of points in diamond because you have a lot of games where you maybe only gain 20 30 maybe you only get plus 8 and then you throw it away after a 20 minute match 
you know that hurts so guys you guys can just not do this do not do what my teammates did here do not contest these spots unless you really really trust your team guys it's just not the best way to play ranked another reason why you guys may not be performing as well as you want in ranked is that when you're playing with a team you guys play too spread out you guys are either running around too much you guys over loot and one guy spreads out you want to rotate but one guy's still looting and you guys just tend to be away from each other you guys are more than a few seconds away from each other and in ranked in higher level lobbies you should not be more than one or two seconds away from your teammates why do i say that because higher level teams obviously higher level players are gonna always want the easiest fight what does that mean they're gonna always find and pick out who is the guy that's away from his team who is in the vulnerable spot who can they like all team team shoot to immediately get out the game and make it a 3v2 every high level player high level team is gonna be looking for those easy knocks easy KP so play close to your team it makes such a huge difference no matter if you guys have great communication bad communication no communication if you're just close together you'll be able to cover your teammates while they need to heal you'll be able to just push away third parties because you guys are all close together push away a revenant team if you get pushed playing together is just as vital as communication because the main thing about apex is you want to not get knocked so you want to stay up you want to stay alive and you gotta support your teammates. And the best way to do that is by being very close to them, even if they can't call out that they need help, being close to them, allowing you to maybe also team shoot a guy, make it an easy fight for you, is very crucial. So stay close to your teammates, try not to get too far apart from them, and I'm sure you guys are gonna start performing better and winning a lot more fights as well. The next reason I wanna talk about that you guys may be losing a lot of RP or not ranking up in Apex, is that you tend to get tunnel vision on a fight you know uh, you get tunnel vision on a fight of the team you're currently fighting or on the gunshots that you hear on that juicy third party that you want to get that easy KP you get tunnel vision on that you know uh, I've played with a lot of people that tend to do this especially a lot of randoms usually when I don't have that much I guess control and don't know them very well that will be like I need to get KP I need to get KP I need to get KP and they don't understand that the game gives placement points and you can get kills you know at the end of the game they don't get that they are just like I need to get KP oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. and then they turn into beaker like <laughs> so like just because you hear shots does not mean you have to run in that fight if the fight's completely outside of zone, if the fight hurts your rotation, if the fight you know is an area where there's gonna be maybe five teams and you're gonna get third partied, don't take the fight. If you're in a, or if you're fighting a team and you've been fighting for, I don't know, 30 to 40 seconds to a minute and you guys are still like at mid range and not really committing to it, leave. Why? Because other teams are hearing those gunshots and they're running towards you because they want a third party your fight. And most likely, even if you eventually engage, if the min if the the fighting or just the shooting goes on for long enough a team will immediately third you because you'll probably be weak from just shooting and shooting and shooting or just like you lose all your resources so you just don't want to do that at all so when you're in a fight when you're looking to third really before you get there just think take a second to think are we going to get thirded here did this fight already go on for too long is this going to hurt us getting into the next zone these are all the questions that you have to get because it can easily get you killed and ruin a game that could have been good but because you couldn't clear your mind of going like to get that KP because you needed it right then and there and that ruined your game you know you're gonna start you're gonna keep leaving RP and KP on the table because you want to keep fighting in that mid game area instead of just being like you know what we can get the best fight spot in zone and then get those two three KP later you know so sometimes you have to just sit back take a break be like you know what i don't think i need this fight or we need to leave this fight we're in a we're not in a good area so those are all the questions i want you guys to ask yourselves because it can cost you and it can leave rp on the table and otherwise a really good game turns into a eh game so this next reason kind of uh ties into what i just talked about getting tunnel vision on a fight and so we're talking about fighting let's continue talking about fighting you need to know when to again take the third party and when to take the straight 3v3 you do not want to take a 3v3 and also like i said you don't want to get tunnel vision 
So if you're not getting tunnel vision, what do I want you to do? I want you to be paying attention. Is this fight taking too long? Would I third this party? Would I third this fight if I could? You know, that internal timer in your head needs to get just better and better as you play and play more because you need to know this fight can take this long. I need to end this fight now. I need to leave this fight. This fight's not worth it anymore. You need to know where on the map you are when you take this fight. Did you, like, maybe you dropped off the dropship and you know only other, one other team landed in your area. So that's a, you know that's a safe 3v3 that you guys can take early if you guys have the loot and the weapons. So those are little things that make a huge difference when taking your fights, when trying the third, you know? Are there actually knocks on both teams or are both teams fully healthy? And if we jump into this fight, are all six people gonna start looking at us and focus us because that's happened to me before. Is you think like, oh, there's probably knocks. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You run in there and both teams stop fighting them and then they look at you and they kill you. Like that's happened to me before. So like that's something that you have to take into account, man. Or you know, there's this huge fight going on. You 30, you're like, oh, we got the fourth, we're the fourth party, whatever. And then the fifth and sixth party show up and they kill you. You know, all those things you have to understand when and where you are. Can you do this? Should you just keep going? And that just ties into the point that I just made a little bit ago. But you guys just have to keep getting better at that. Your game knowledge, your game sense has to keep evolving, guys. This next reason why you may be not gaining as much RP or ranking up is I think probably the most important one. And it really ties a lot of the things together. But this is going to be you don't have a play style or your play style sucks. <laughs> so let's talk about that. You know, are you the person that just wanders around, floats around, run towards gunshots, and then you just hope you find yourself in the final zone with a chance to win the game? You know, are you always a dude that's running outside of zone, running in late, you know, and always get gate kept? And then you're like, oh my God, dude, why, why can I never win a game? You know, why can I never win a game if I'm running around trying to get KP and then I'm in storm till round three and then I get into zone and everyone kills me because I don't have a spot in zone, you know? Why does that happen? It's because you don't have a game plan. And your game plan of running around, getting KP aimlessly, just without beacon knowledge, without any like end game goal is what get you killed every time. I think this from personal experience. I've recently played with people that their only goal is to get max KP before like before like 10 squads are left, which is ridiculous. They don't ever play zone. They just wander around and we spent like multiple games outside of zone to like rank three. And then we would get to zone and die like ninth with four or five KP because the teams in these diamond lobbies would just like be waiting. It's like, oh, there's a team out of storm. Boom, three teams would focus us and we, or we would try and fly in but every building, every area is taken already because we're super late. You have to have a play style. You need to know when you drop into the game, we're gonna hit beacon, we're going to rotate to end game and try and hold zone and fight from the spot I think where zone ends. Or we're gonna loot up and then we're gonna camp the edge of the zone, never staying outside of zone, camping the edge and try and get any stragglers, any team that might be on the edge where we can take a safe third uh, or take a safe 3v3, you know? Or we're gonna play the hybrid where, you know, we hit beacon, we try and get into a solid spot in second zone and then we kind of fight out of there, which is a, which is kind of the strategy I enjoy. Um, but you have to have a plan because if you don't have a plan, you, your KP doesn't matter, you know? Because your end goal should be, yes, I want KP, but you need to win the game. If you don't win the game, in higher level lobbies against higher level players, you will never win the game. No matter if you have 10 KP, if you die eighth, it doesn't mean anything. So have a game plan, try and, like have a play style because once you figure out your play style and the repetition it's like NBA players that shoot free throws you want to have that repetition because once you make it habit you, you don't even have to think about it and you can focus about other things so remember guys get yourself a good play style don't stand outside the zone all the time that's gonna be for this video guys in the comment section let me know if there's other reasons why you guys think that you guys can't rank up why you guys can't gain RP I'd love to hear about it I'd love to reply Remember to stop by the live streams, guys. We're live streaming a lot. Love to see new faces there. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you at the next one.